the Type 45 destroyers will be enhanced with 24C Scepter missile cells. Here we consider the implications of this significant upgrade to the Royal Navy's primary air defense platform. The integrated review published in March 2021 promised enhancements to the Sea Viper missile system, but the news that Type 45s will receive additional missiles is a big step forward and a welcome surprise. A new 24-missile Sea Scepter silo will be added in front of the current 48-missile Silver VLS silo, see speculative mock-up above, increasing the overall missile capacity from 48 to 72. Not only does this raise overall missile numbers by 50%, but also offers the potential to increase the range and reach of the existing Sea Viper system. There has been considerable speculation that US-made MK-41 VLS might be fitted to the Type 45s, potentially to carry Tomahawk land attack missiles, FLAM, or even SM-3 missiles for anti-ballistic missile defense. Despite the adoption of MK-41 on the Type 26 frigate, MK-41 will not now be fitted to the Type 45s. Sea Scepter provides short-medium range air defense for the ship and those in close company out to a range of at least 25 kilometers. Sea Scepter is also able to engage small surface targets, such as fast attack craft, and is a relatively light and agile missile with a small shipboard footprint. Currently, Type 45s carry a mix of Aster-15 and Aster-30 weapons. The 15 is used for the shorter range defense and has an effective range of around 30 kilometers. It is likely then that the RN will dispense with the Aster 15 entirely and fill all 48 of the existing Silver VLS cells with the long range, fast and accurate 30s which can provide effective area air defense. Quickly attaining Mach 4.5, it can destroy targets up to 120 kilometers away from the launch point and at an altitude of 20 kilometers. Sea Scepter will not require additional fire control radars and can be guided by the existing Samson radar. The Artisan radar used to provide Sea Scepter guidance on the Type 23 frigates is based on technology derived from Samson, so integration into the Sea Viper POM system should not be too challenging. Samson will provide initial target data to Sea Scepter and updates are sent to the missile in flight via a two-way platform data link terminal PDLT. Other than the modifications to the missile silo, two small PDLT aerials are likely to be the only external change to the ships. The Sea Scepter missile itself has an advanced active radar seeker head for use in the terminal phase which removes the need for dedicated fire control radars. The RN says the Eurosam, MBDA Thales, Consortium will refresh the Aster 30 missile in a joint British-French-Italian effort, supporting more than 100 highly skilled jobs in Bristol, Stevenage, Gosport, and Bolton. It is unclear exactly what the refresh involves, although missile stocks are 10 to 15 years old and obviously need refurbishment. There will also be an investment in the supporting facility at Defense Munitions in Gosport that handles the weapons before they are loaded onto the ships at the UHIF in Portsmouth. There has been no official comment from the MOD about whether the UK is interested in the Aster 30 Block 1 NT which is a French-Italian project to give Aster anti-ballistic missile capability. Block 1NT will be able to counter short and medium-range ballistic missiles at up to 1,500 km range. By freeing up additional VLS cells and not going down the MK-41 route, the B1NT option looks increasingly attractive, especially as the RN must currently rely on US Navy escorts to counter the increasing ballistic missile threat to its carrier strike group. The program to enhance the Type 45 must fit around the Power Improvement Project PIP, to resolve the propulsion issues, while allowing the RN to retain sufficient active destroyers to support its existing carrier strike deployments. This means the project must be paced relatively slowly, the first Sea Scepter enhanced Type 45 should be delivered by the summer of 2026, with all six ships completed by winter 2032. The addition of Sea Scepter is a relatively affordable option that offers a decent increase in the capability of Type 45 that is disproportionate to the cost. Upgrades to Samson and a purchase of B1NT really would be the icing on the cake. 
GWS 35C Scepter was officially accepted into RN service in May 2018. MBDA, a joint venture between BAE Systems, Leonardo, and Airbus, the leading European missile manufacturer, developed Sea Scepter based on their common anti-air modular missile, CAM. CAM was the answer to the MOD's requirement for an affordable modular missile using common parts for use on land, at sea or in the air. The future local area air defense system, FLODS, project aimed to control costs through reuse of existing technology, while delivering weapons that could cope with high-speed, hard-maneuvering modern threats.